Hello everyone, Casual Talk here. Today I'm going to be talking about my pros and cons on the city life versus living the rural life. Okay, this is based off my own expertise and my own experience. So take it with a grain of salt. And for those of you who are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos. Let me know what you think. Um, as originally, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York for a long time. And this was before being married. And uh, after getting married, my wife and I decided to move to upstate New York, where we thought it would be a better change for us, a better pace. And we realized how much we missed the city. Okay. As you can see here where I'm at right now, I'm in downtown Charleston of South Carolina. I'm currently living in the state of South Carolina. And as you can see here, the scenery, the scenery is quite nice. You know, it is quite nice. It's not busy. As you can see here, there's not many people around, okay? So I'm gonna go over the city first. I'm gonna first start on the pros. From my experience, the main pros in the city, if you're a walking distance away from the train station, that's a bonus. You could just walk five, 10 minutes, train station is right there. The bus station, bus stop is right there. You could take the train. It's, it, it, it's cheaper. It's cheaper cost to take the train, to take the subway, to take the bus to get to your destination. Uh, another pro is you have a variety of different foods that you could choose from and different cultures that you could even be exposed to. It's very diverse. You can meet a lot of sorts of people. There's, there's a lot of job opportunities. Uh, other pros is uh, it's just the vibes altogether. You, there's there's a many opportunities, many job opportunities. You can make a lot of money in the city. Um, a lot of people normally go to the city because of the things that they hear on TV, television, etc. Right? The shopping malls is close by too. Okay, and. Yeah, that's one of the the main re, the main uh, pros that I loved about the city, the exposure to a lot of stores, restaurants, shopping centers. Um, you could take the train or the bus just to get to where you need to be. There are so many Ubers and taxi drivers at your disposal where you have a lot of access to them. And yeah, that's one of the main things. The, the now I'm gonna go to the cons. Cons. Groceries is expensive. A gallon of milk in South Carolina is about two to three bucks. And in Brooklyn, New York, it's about six to seven bucks from the last time I remember. That's a huge difference, right? And another con about New York City, the minimum wage. Most workers on average who has a lack of job experience or job expertise, you're going to be looking to make about 15 bucks an hour on average. That is hard to to even that's hard that's hard to me make, make up with if you're trying to look for a place or an apartment. You're better off even trying to get a roommate. And for me and my recommendation, it was difficult as it is to even get an apartment and get my first place, which is the reason why I thought it was a lot easier to just move out of New York City. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's very expensive. Groceries is very expensive. Uh, stuff um, normally is increasing by taxes, right? And that's another thing. Yeah, it's very expensive. Groceries is expensive. Um, transportation could hurt your pockets after a while, depending on how far you're going, especially when you're taking Ubers in the city, um, especially when you're eating out. Eating out could, could, like, could be a very detrimental to your pockets because when you're eating out, even dining out could be expensive as well in the city unless you have a very good job. But now these days, the apartments and the houses out there in the city are very high. So it's even harder for a minimum wage worker, or not even a minimum wage worker, a person that's just getting fresh out of college, you're starting your career. It's even hard for you and difficult to even land an apartment because of the competition. Um, the competition is fierce out there in the city. So even though there's a lot of job opportunities, there's a lack of opportunities for higher paying jobs. It, they're there, but it's competitive. You're gonna have to bring more to the table rather than when you're in a rural area where there's less competition and more demand, okay? If you understand what I'm trying to say. Another con 
is you're around a, a lot of people because there's going to be times I'm on a subway cart or I'm on the bus. I got the seat to myself. I got the space. The moment it gets crowded, that's when I get annoyed, a little upset. And the thing is that I don't know who I'm going to end up sitting next to or who's going to end up sitting next to me. So you may have to worry about exposure to illnesses, people that they don't know how to cover their mouth. You could do it with all of that. And, uh, and uh, that's one of the main things that I don't like. And I know a lot of people won't like about living in the city or having a city lifestyle. If you're taking transportation, you're depending on some local transportation. It's when it gets crowded is when the headache starts to kick in and it gets a bit annoying. You just want your space, your vibe in, in your own space. You're on your own mind, and you have to deal with another passenger coming on board. They could cough around you, sneeze, and you got to deal with crying babies and children on you, okay? Stuff like that happens, okay? Another con, you have to deal with the crime. Crime is very high in the city because it's more exposed to a lot more people, so you're more, you're more likely to end up in a crime. And you also have to watch your back. I don't even recommend wearing headphones and covering up both of your ears to not know where your surroundings are and where you are. You could potentially be a big threat. If you have your cell phone out in public, you're, you have your earphones on, where you can't hear anybody, don't do that. It's not worth it, okay? I can't think of anything else, but those are the pros and cons, okay? Now, for the rural, the rural life, currently, like I said, I live in South Carolina. I'm currently in downtown Charleston right now due to work. So I'm taking the time to do this video on my on my uh, lunch break, okay? So the, the pros that I have for the rural area is it's much more peaceful, much more quiet. It is cheaper. Rent is cheaper. Taxes is cheaper. Food, the cost of food is cheaper. Oh, yes, the, food of co the cost of food is cheaper. And another thing is that many of the minimum wage jobs down here in South Carolina, being the fact that I live in a rural area, I live in Somerville, South Carolina currently. Uh, the minimum wage on average down here for a job is about $15 an hour. But the state wage, to be honest with you, the actual state wage of South Carolina is about $7.25. So if you go for job searching on Indeed or anything like that, you can come across many jobs that um, that are paying about like 10 maybe eight dollars an hour and that that's something that i think a lot of people should be aware of yeah and it, it's very nice down here the, the the rural life there's a lot of of uh fresh air you're surrounded by trees and uh, people may think the stereotype oh you're surrounded by animals no it also depends on the area and where you live you have to do your research too if you think about that you have to do your research and uh like i said it's the, the cost of groceries down here is cheaper the, uh, the cost on rent on average is a lot cheaper. Like I said, from the minimum wage perspective, on the average job, the average job down here, ma many of them, you can make more than 15 to $16 an hour, okay? But another con in that department is that many of those jobs are warehouse. Oh, yes. When you're in the, living in a rural area, the rural life, majority of jobs that the average person is going to be exposed to, many cases, is going to be a warehouse job. Warehouses and factories are more known to be settling down here in rural areas, just as South Carolina. It was the same case for me when I was in upstate New York. The more land and the more land you're exposed to, the more likely there's going to be a lot of warehouse industries, factories, and jobs, okay? A lot of warehouses notice they take advantage of this, and at the exact same time, it's unfortunate. This lack of job opportunities. There's jobs that are there, but not many that are that many people are exposed to. Unless you're willing to work in a hospital or anything like that, become a police officer, those jobs do exist. Okay, and many times, depending on the rural area or the rural uh, state that you're living in, many police officers and uh, nurses doctors they don't get paid that much so you also have to consider that as well depending on what lifestyle that you're trying to have and what lifestyle that you're trying to live okay so i went over the cost of food the uh another thing is that oh i forgot to mention you have to be car dependent when you're living in the rural area or living in like a places in upstate new york or south carolina or in a rural state right overall where you're around green scenery 
you have to be more car dependent. And the con on being dependent on a car is that if your car breaks down, you're out of luck. So you're going to have to have more than one car. You're going to have to have two video, two vehicles, three vehicles. And another thing about that is that Ubers, Ubers, taxis, they normally take longer on average because many people on average, it's not, it's not really looking to use an Uber or call a taxi or anything like that because many people on average, let's just be honest, many people on average are going to have their own vehicle. You're going to be expected to have your own car. And when you're expected to have your own car, you're going to have to use that to transport to A and B. Rather in the city, when it comes down to the city, then you won't have to worry much about that. Yeah, this is just something to, to consider. Uh, before I end the video, if I have not gone through every single thing, uh, please let me know. Like I said, when it comes down to rural living, it's very nice, peaceful, and quiet. The reason why I made this video is because my wife and I are looking into moving in the future, and we still want to have that rural lifestyle right at the, at the exact same time also visit the city. So we have been looking into uh, different states that has that type of lifestyle and something that can also uh, give us that vibe too because we do miss the city. We do miss the exposure to walking down the street. There's a restaurant right there, the nightlife, the, 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 the lights. There's the exposure to the mall, shopping, food shopping, things like that, et cetera, right? And then I'd rather just go home to a lot of just peace and quiet. I don't do apartments anymore. We did apartments from my own experience. I would not recommend going to get into an apart, apartment. If you're single, hey, that works for you. If you have a family, like a family, family where you're married, you have kids, I recommend renting a house. Rent to own if you have to, and potentially your end goal should be purchasing a house. I currently, I'm renting out a, a home out, uh, out in Charleston, South Carolina, in Somerville, South Carolina right now. My rent is not expensive. And I'm able to manage and keep up with a lot as well still. And uh, this is this is just from my own perspective. If I miss anything, please let me know. Like I said, rural living, one of the biggest costs is going to be your vehicle, your car. You're going to be having to know how to drive. You're going to need your driver's license. You are going to need to be car dependent or else you're going to get screwed out here. I'm just being honest with you. It's not like New York City where you could just hop on the train, hop on the bus, pay your for your ticket 275 three bucks however uh, the cost is for the uh the metro cards in new york city is right now right versus paying for gas okay it just depends on your lifestyle depends on what you want to live where you want to settle on me and my personal opinion i do love this city i have my love for it by the exact same time i also love the rural area too so when i go home in the end of the day i don't want to go to an apartment hear loud music, loud noises. That's one of the cons that I did not like about living in the city, being exposed to a lot of crime, loud noises. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of homeless people because the city can make you or break you. When it, it comes down to rural area, you don't see many homeless people like that. The crime rate is not as high as it is in the city. And you also don't have to worry about much about uh, people breaking into your homes and things like that, right? It's just something that you got to look into. If I miss anything, comment down below. Let me know what you think. This is Casual, Heart, uh, casual Talk here. Peace out. Have a, good, have a good day, everyone, and God bless.